What is going on guys? Grave here tonight. Uh, Treyarch put out a lot of information about Season 1. I'm going to link everything down in the description. All the info and of course the trailer if you'd like to look over it for yourself. Let's go ahead and hop right into it because there's a lot of news that they kind of came out with tonight which was pretty awesome to see. We're going to get three new operators. Uh, Stitch of course is one of the new operators that's going to be available on launch week. Uh, also NATO which is going to be available in season and one I'm assuming his name is Xena. Xena. Is going to be available in season as well. I'm assuming this is going to be kind of like Modern Warfare 3, NATO, and uh, Xeno probably will be uh, something that you purchase in store. Five new weapons, the MAC-10 will be available on launch week. The Graza Assault Rifle will be available on launch week as well. The Street Sweeper Shotgun will be available in season. And the Sledgehammer uh, Melee Weapon will be available in season. And a Pretty much like a katana style melee weapon will also be available in season. New multiplayer modes, 2v2 gunfights coming back. I know it was really popular for uh, a lot of people really enjoyed playing that during uh, Modern Warfare. That's going to be out on launch week. Prop Hunt 6v6 will be out on launch week as well. Drop Kick 6v6 is going to be an in season mode they're going to bring in. And Combined Arms Hardpoint 12v12 is going to be launch week. This is everyone's favorite King of the Hill mode. Gets even bigger in Combined Arms Hardpoint. The rules are simple, the same thing as regular hardpoint, but it's going to be 12v12, which is pretty crazy. There's a good bit of maps. Uh, not all are going to be 6v6 maps. Uh, the Pines, of course, is a new 6v6 map. And, of course, Raid. We've already talked about those in some other videos. And Holiday Nuketown. They have this decorated up for Christmas, of course. Then uh, two or three new uh, 2v2 maps, of course, Game Show, ICBM, uh, KGB, and U-Ban are some of the 2v2 maps we'll have available during launch week. Also, uh, Sanctorium, which is going to be a new fire team uh, map that's going to be brought, brought in for fire team Dirty Bomb. That's going to be available in season as well. It says new tools of the trade, the score streak, the HARP. This is a high flying stealth aircraft or high altitude reconnaissance plane. Shows both enemy positions and their direction on the mini map. Gives you key advantage during in game moments of a multiplayer match. Pretty much, uh, you know, the advanced UAV from any other Black Ops game we've had, which I'm really glad to see that come back. Uh, that's going to be available, like I said, in launch week. But the tactical raft is going to be available in season. That's going to be a fast-moving boat that allows for quick maneuvering and carrying personnel across the water. That's going to be a new vehicle added in. New zombie modes are also going to be added into the game. We're looking at Jingle Bell, uh, Jingle Hells, which is launch week. This is a limited time, limited time holiday mode, which turns into a uh, pretty much the zombie mode into a winter wasteland and a wonderland kind of at the same time. Cranked, of course, we've all played Cranked before. It's going to be one of the limited time modes, uh, both literally and figuratively. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to be bringing these modes in and out, kind of like Modern Warfare, which I know is not a lot of people's favorite thing. It's not really a thing that I love because there's a lot of modes that come out that people really enjoy. A lot of, you know, kind of um, mosh pit style map modes as well. Uh, Nuketown 24-7. You know, whatever the case may be. In, in Modern Warfare, a lot of people want to shoot the ship. And a lot of times they would bring it in one week, take it out the next week. I'm guessing they're going to kind of follow that same idea. We're not sure yet. Also, during uh, launch week is going to be Seasons Challengers. Need even more ways to earn rewards through Season 1. Then ready yourself for Season Challengers available in Black Ops Cold War. Accept two collections of 20 calling cards, 20 related to multiplayer and 20 for zombies. With each calling card becoming accessible in both collections at every 10 season levels. Be sure to aim for all 200 to unlock every Season Challenge during the course of a season. Once you unlock all those, you can continue to earn progression towards completing these during the future seasons. Uh, the new progression levels and pro uh, prestige shop will be available. Uh, it says at the start of season one, you will be reset to level uh, to reset to one while keeping your creative class content unlocked during the military ranking level, and your progression will resume from the latest uh, highest prestige level you achieved in the preseason. The season offers four additional pre uh, prestiges to achieve across the first 200 levels as well as the new weapon blueprints as follows uh, level 50 new prestige of course uh, new prestige you know in general uh, new emblem prestige key weapon blueprint battle pass tier skip level 100 new prestige emblem uh, prestige key battle pass tier skip same at 150 uh, at 200 you get the prestige the emblem the prestige key the battle pass tier skip the master prestige calling card and all season challenges unlocked and then, of course, after you hit 200, you can go from 250 to 1,000, and you will get a prestige key every 50 levels. Of course, this means you can earn up to uh, four new prestiges during Season 1. 
and you'll always earn progress towards the prestige that comes after your current one as well as being able to catch up on the latest available prestige if you didn't reach it during the previous season. Reach level 200 of course in season one and uh, you will receive that prestige master for that particular season. This changes your season level color and you'll be able to personalize your prestige icon with legacy prestige icons from previous Call of Duty games, kind of like we had back in Black Ops 4 and uh, Black Ops 3, by sending some of your earned prestige key or spending some at the prestige shop. You also can continue, like I said, past level 200 and go all the way up to level 1000 during Season 1, rece receiving prestige keys every 50 levels. Uh, it says, don't forget your prestige level journey is synchronized with Warzone and Modern Warfare, meaning you can uh, cross progress season levels and increase your prestige level by earning XP in any of the three titles. Of course, during launch week four, um, you know, for Warzone, we're going to have Rebirth Island. We've all talked about this coming back. A lot of people are excited about this to have Alcatraz back in the game. Also, a new Verdance Gulag system will be added in as well. Uh, the new Rebirth I I Island Gulag experience as well. There's also going to be a separate one kind of for that map in particular. Uh, new game mode Resurgence is going to be out during launch week. New vehicle, the Attack Helicopter. Uh, this is going to, of course, bring Death from Above in Verdansk and Rebirth Island with the Attack Chopper. Uh, also, the content kind of integration available uh, additional operators on launch week for, you know, Warzone. Uh, you know, kind of the operators from Modern Warfare is what they seem like they're going to do. And, of course, the operators we have here available in Black Ops Cold War. Uh, also, over uh, 30 Cold War weapons will be added into uh, Warzone with this integration during launch week. Uh, Black Ops Cold War content integration for progression and for the launch week as well in Warzone. And, of course, they're going to be bringing out the store. They didn't really go into too much detail um, of what exactly is going to be in the store. They talked about the Challenger Pack, of course, which we have available right now, the Call of Duty Endowment Challenger Pack. Uh, all players can support the Call of Duty Endowment, a nonprofit organization. Of course, 100% of the Axe Division's net proceeds received from sales of the Challenger Pack goes toward finding employment for veterans. So if you guys have not uh, purchased that yet, be sure you know do that. It's a good thing, in my opinion. Of course, it did talk about more things in the store. It says Master Crafts are back. A new tier of blueprints is coming as part of Season 1. It's home to the wildest creations your arsenal can hold. Returning from Black Ops, Co uh, Black Ops 4, these special cosmetic skins are like any other in the game, transforming your weapon into an absolute work of handcraft, uh, handcrafted by Treyarch's finest. I'm sure a lot of you remember some of these. We had some really cool looking weapons in Black Ops 4. Some of the skins, you know, that really transform uh, these guns into something that looked really different. Uh, so that's going to be available in the store. New bundles. Ring, uh, ring in the holidays and welcome new operators. So kind of like the same store we had in War, uh, in Modern Warfare and Warzone, you know, with, with cosmetics and, and weapon skins. I'm sure we'll probably have some tracer packs and things like that eventually. Uh, note that Black Ops Cold War download is not necessary if you're only playing Warzone. An additional pair of content updates will deliver Season 1 game content for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. Of course, they did say... Uh, the update's going to be coming out on the 15th for Black Ops Cold War and the 16th for Warzone. Um, we do know that there's going to be all of this stuff added in, but Treyarch did go on uh, on Twitter and Tony Flame talking about some other things as well. Tony Flame kind of put it this way. It's been a month since their last weapon tuning update, so it was time to change the meta up. So I'm not quite sure exactly what that means. Uh, I'm sure we're probably going to get some changes to the M16 and the AUG. That's the two that I know right off the top of my head that definitely probably need some adjusting. I'm not quite sure what else will get changed. Uh, they may be buffing some of the, uh, you know, subs, nerfing some of the subs, or, you know, nerfing or buffing some of the ARs. I'm not quite sure exactly what they're going to do with this. I am kind of curious to see how the meta is going to change. Of course, you know, they kind of look at what the pro scene's using as well to kind of change up the meta, you know, kind of going along, you know, with each season. But give me, uh, kind of leave me a comment, guys. Give me some thoughts on this kind of season one content. Like I said, if you have not seen that trailer, definitely check it out. It is linked down in the description. And it is very, very good. I thought it was a very nice looking trailer, some cool looking weapons, some cool looking skins, all that kind of stuff. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They're having a big Christmas sale right now. And my affiliate link is down there in the description. So definitely give them a look if you'd like to purchase something. It would help me out and I would appreciate it. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.